Hello guys and welcome to this week video. I hope everything is great with you. What I want to do this week is just uh, a follow up from last week video on Facebook Pixel uh, and, and just talk a little bit about it and how we can set um, conversions or, uh, or create an audience. So last week I added um, the, the new Facebook Pixel uh, ID uh, to this store. Uh, this is a, a store that I'm using for testing. Um, so I don't have much traffic on it. And also I noticed that um, my Facebook ID is not the correct one. So as you can see here in uh, your Facebook ad manager, make sure you are in pixels. If you don't see it, go in tools and assets and pixels. Um, and obviously you will have just one pixel because it's one pixel per account. If not, as I showed you last week, you need to get a, um, a business account and then have multiple um, pixels there. So I see here that my pixel ID, it's actually uh, another number. So let me just copy this and, uh, and go inside my admin you have to go in your online store and um, in settings or preferences if depending on the on the admin you you're currently seeing go in sales channels then online store and preferences you will have a, a Facebook pixel so this is another store that it's live and selling uh, but last week we added into this store, uh, which is just uh, my current work in progress web website. Uh, and that's where I'm doing most of my uh, how to videos. So what we want to do is just change it here. So once I'm here, I'm going to click change and paste the new one. Just before I confirm what I want to show you really uh, a nice feature if in case you did install it, you know it's, it, it should work, but you still have um, no activity yet um, or no current, I think it's just the no activity yet. If you're not sure if your pixel is the correct one, like in my case, or if it's installed properly, what you can do is switch to Chrome. I was using Firefox. Um, so switch to Chrome and search for let me just see where I have it. Yes, here's the link. Um, there's actually a Facebook Pixel helper. I'm going to put it down in the, in the comments below that you can download it. And it's going to add, um, as we can see here, it's going to add um, uh, j j just an extension to Chrome so we can check the, the, the pixel. So if I go to my current store, this is the one that I'm working on in the back end here before I do the switch. If I go and check that out, you can see right away I have one. So one pixel found and you see the pixel ID is the one we put last week, but it's not the correct one. So what I want to do is, is change that right away. And let me go back to Firefox. Let's hit save. Okay, so that's that. Let's refresh Chrome. Pum, 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 pum. and we have one and it's the new ID um, so this this makes sense um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it run for um, I'm gonna let it run to see if it's gonna update if I do receive enough traffic on it I think traffic wise it, it needs to have at least like 20 30 uh, visits to your store uh, before you get any results any activity on that um, so for this one, we're gonna let it run a few uh, a few days, and I will I will come back to it later. Also, uh, something really interesting that I found out with uh, with the new uh, Facebook Pixel integration with Shopify. Um, if you go to this link, I'm I'm gonna put it in in, in the comments also. Um, they actually saying that as a standard. 
um, a Shopify it's 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 already set to track six uh, most relevant standard events uh, means it can track uh, it can track and make a conversion for a view content if, if you're gonna use it for product or or a collection add to cart it's obviously when somebody reached the cart initiate checkout is when you press on on the checkout button add payment info that's that's self-explanatory um, purchase it's when you when you when you made your purchase and when you reach the thank you page and uh, for search what did I say for search search okay so I'm guessing it's most probably when it reach uh, the, the the search results or um, yeah I'm pretty sure it's, it's the search results I won't think it will get uh, the, the inquiry without pressing uh, pressing the search so it's most probably the search result page um, so right now I have no way to to test this out sorry for that um, right now I have no way to test this out um, because I don't have I don't have traffic on this and this is using the new pixel with the Shopify integration actually I just refreshed it and and I see that it's active um, so that's a good sign because it means that the, the change was done right away um, so the, the 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 new pixel ID that I added is the correct one it's active now on my uh, on my website let me just try um, and see if I can actually get some some data right away uh, what I'm trying to do is just uh, navigate to, to to a product add it to cart um, let me see if I can view my cart yes let's try to do a checkout okay so technically I am at the checkout page um, let me just see if I refresh this if I can get any information on that not right now okay so not not at the moment um, but what I do want to show you and I'm gonna come back to to this uh, what I do want to show you is um, how to create a, a conversion for or create a conversion and um, create an audience for let's assume you want to to know if somebody visited a certain page on uh, a certain product in uh, in your store in my case what I want to know is if somebody went to uh, our full website analyze so what I want to do is just copy portion of the URL going back in my uh, ads manager I'm gonna do create a conversion and um, I'm gonna go for uh, the, 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 the custom conversions where you can specify a, a URL, uh, a specific URL, or just a URL that that, that contains uh, what I need. I'm gonna go with the with the one that contains, uh, just in case you, whatever, go go with whatever you need, or or that it contains, or that it's specifically equal to. Uh, so I'm gonna do that it contains this because I know uh, that's the handle on uh, on my product. And that's what I want to use to track it it's the only one with this name anyway so it's easy in in this case um, and what I want to select as a category is view content so content you can use it for for a page you can use it for uh, for product you can use it for uh, for for a collection for everything so just gonna hit next okay uh, view product full web analyze 
yes this is great if because you're selling products obviously being physical or uh, or, or maybe downloads or services or whatsoever uh, you, you can set a, um, a conversion value so if if you're selling your product you have an amount attached to that in my case it, it's $97 so you can just put it here 97 and um, we can create it so now you can track your uh, your conversions uh, if, if, if you're using you, you will have them here custom conversion obviously I have no no tracking at the moment or or do I Yeah, no, no activity yet. So we'll we'll see in in, in, in few days. I'm I'm gonna do a follow up uh, video on that. Um, but this is where you will have your uh, your custom conversions. If you want to track that, if you want to assign them a value, and uh, just as a side note, you have a maximum of four, 40 conversions on uh, on that. Let's see if we can do uh, another one really quick. So I will. Um, what I will want to try is the add to cart. In this case, is uh, when it contains just cart. So that will do it. Um, let's hit next. Um, adding to cart. I, I will not set a conversion value in this case because we don't know the amount that it's getting into cart so I don't we don't have a specific value to that um, so let's do create and also with the other one we did the, the, the conversion value um, it's, it's, it's wrong because we're not the conversion value I think it should be set only when um, only when you they actually pay for it so when you reach the the, the checkout point uh, so it, it's not because they arrived to this page that I have uh, that I'm gonna have a, a conversion value of uh, of ninety seven dollars so let me just remove that. Okay, so we have those uh, th those custom conversion that we you, you can use to track a page, to track a product, um, to track the the, the, the checkout, um, and let me send you. I will also add in uh, in the description um, where you can find your your your, your pages like the thank you page. Uh, goals and funnels I found on this page um, for for some of the pages that you may want to know like if, if they're reaching the, the the address part of the checkout shipping payment at uh, the, the cart as we uh, as we did before product page that that we saw it so uh, I'm gonna also include this in uh, in in the description below and that's it that's it for today um, what we'll do next time is figure out how uh, Shopify did the, 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 the conversion how they tracking automatically um, the, the, the five where are we Um, how are they tracking the five events um, that uh, that we need that we saw earlier so I'm gonna need to get back to you on that hopefully I'm gonna have some traffic on this uh, so maybe I'm gonna create an, an ad to just bring a little bit of traffic and actually have some real content that we can play with and uh, we'll see from that how to create an audience um, using uh, using the Shopify uh, pixel so that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please use the comments below. In the description, you also have my email, my Skype, 
Instagram, uh, Twitter account, everything is there so you can reach out to me. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm releasing videos like this one each week on different subjects. So please check it out and subscribe so you're not missing any of, uh, of the content that I'm releasing each week. And um, I also have a, a free class that is coming up for, uh, for CSS to learn how to modify the look of your store yourself. Uh, we're gonna learn how to change the, 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 the font, font size, uh, color, sizing, all of that for free. So please subscribe to that too. If, uh, if you need also some help on, uh, on your website design, uh, maybe user experience, uh, conversion. Uh, I also do full website analyze of, uh, of Shopify stores, so uh, you can get in touch with me for that as well. Thank you.